Hi everyone, welcome back. Little video here on an issue I had with my handhelds here. These, um, you know, the Chinese knockoffs. They're nice radios. I like them. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I give them a thumbs up. No doubt about that at all. <clears throat> but um, one thing I did, and I just want to make sure that you guys are aware, so you don't accidentally have this happen to you, as well. Um, this is the uh, Baofeng UV 5R. Channel mode. Alrighty. There it goes. Alright, so if you look at the display on this, um, I'm assuming you can kind of see it all right there. I mean, it's the usual display, and um, no, um, nothing special about it. It's got like a you know, glare on that. Okay, that's how it should look, right? Now I have my other one. I have two. I have a pair of them, actually. This is the other one. Turn that on. Give it a second. And I don't know if you can notice it like that, but across the display, there's like a, a contrast issue, sort of, across the display, like it's been damaged, and it actually has. Um, I'm not really sure if you can see. You can still read the numbers and everything, but a lot of the... Um, I want to call them pixels for lack of a better, um, are kind of always on dimmer than the numbers, but always on. And what happened was I was trying to do some testing with this into a dummy load with a, a wire pickup to feed it into the analyzer to check harmonics and things like that. So I had a lot of transmit time at full power on the handheld into the dummy load, and it actually heated the handheld up so much that it um, started to hurt the display. It was actually worse than that, but then when it cooled down, it was a little bit better. And it's still usable. It's fine the way it is. But um, just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Watch your um, your duty cycle on transmit and receive on these, because if you transmit for too long a period of time, you could have a problem. Now mine was on for you know a minute or so, um, and I did it several times in a row, kind of quick. Okay, so if you're having a regular conversation with a minute or so on and then, you know, two or three minutes off listening to somebody, I'm sure it would be fine if you're outside walking, you know what I mean? It's just um, the duty cycle and I'm inside there is, you know, kind of stagnant, it's not moving around or anything like that. And a lot of these, they have a clip that goes on the back, that they both thing don't, but a lot of them have clips on the back that are metal. Um, and so when you tie it to the heat sink in the back of the screws and you attach it, it tends to help be a heat sink, but this doesn't have that, I don't believe. So anyway, watch the duty cycle, transmit, receive. You don't want to, you know, mess up your display. So that's really all I wanted to show you with that. Thanks again for watching the videos. I will have a continuation video on attenuators and um, <coughs> that should, should come out well. I'm going to plan it ahead. Um, it'll be a somewhat lengthy one but involves getting some attenuators, commercial attenuators, to continue the process of accurately measuring the ones I'm building per G0H that use uh, advice. So, thanks everyone. Take care. See you next time.